Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about aircraft stability and why stabilizers are needed. First, let's see what is the meaning of stability. Let's consider an aircraft in flight. The ability of this aircraft to withstand any disturbances and continue its normal flight is called as stability. Stability can be classified into static stability and dynamic stability. We will look at static stability in this video. What is static stability? Static stability refers to the initial response of an aircraft after it is subject to a disturbance. After the disturbance, if the aircraft has a tendency to come back to its original attitude, then it is said to have positive static stability. After the disturbance, if the aircraft has a tendency to deviate away from its original attitude, then it is said to have negative static stability. After the disturbance, if the aircraft tends to maintain its new attitude that is not coming back or not deviating from the original attitude, then it is said to have neutral static stability. On comparing the positive static stability, negative static stability and the neutral static stability, we understand that the aircraft should have positive static stability. This stability is entirely dependent on the aircraft design. The positive static stability can be divided into longitudinal stability, lateral stability and directional stability. Let's look at longitudinal static stability. This refers to stability of an aircraft after it suffers a disturbance in pitch. To understand this stability, we will have to take a closer look at the wing airfoil. On the airfoil, there is a point called as center of gravity or CG and another point called as center of pressure or CP. At the center of gravity, the aircraft's weight force acts downwards and this is a fixed point. At the center of pressure, the lift force of the wing acts and this point moves based on the lift. Let's keep the CP ahead of the CG. Now, if there is a disturbance in the pitch, the tendency of the aircraft would be to deviate from the original attitude. This will result in negative longitudinal static stability. Now, let's keep the CP behind the CG. If there is a disturbance in pitch, the lift and weight forces will create a tendency to return to the original attitude. This is called as positive longitudinal static stability, which is required on the aircraft. The lift and the weight forces together will form a couple, which will push the nose of the aircraft downwards. To prevent the aircraft nose down condition, the horizontal stabilizer is installed. To remove the nose down condition, the horizontal stabilizer needs to give an aircraft nose up. This is done by creating a downward force at the tail section. This will give us positive longitudinal static stability and level flight. Next, we will look at lateral static stability. If the aircraft is subject to a disturbance in roll, then it tends to roll with the wind. For this disturbance, stability is provided by the vertical stabilizer and the wing structure. As the aircraft rolls due to the disturbance, the lift increases on the downgoing wing as the angle of attack on this wing increases. The lift decreases on the upgoing wing as the angle of attack on this wing decreases. This will create a tendency on the aircraft to roll back to its original attitude which will give us the positive lateral static stability. During the disturbance, the vertical stabilizer provides resistance to the roll. This will improve the positive lateral static stability. Next, we will look at directional static stability. This is important when the aircraft is subject to a disturbance in yaw causing the aircraft to turn. The vertical stabilizer becomes the primary surface to provide the directional stability. During the disturbance, the nose will yaw in the same direction as the wind. The tail will yaw in the opposite direction of the wind. This will result in an increase in drag at the vertical stabilizer. This creates a tendency to yaw back to the original attitude, which will give us the positive directional static stability. The static stability of an aircraft includes the longitudinal static stability, lateral static stability and the directional static stability. The positive static stability 
is achieved by a good aircraft design, or more specifically, a good design of the wing and the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.